you. Okay. Hi, I'm Pete Reyes, Chief Engineer of the 2010 Taurus and Taurus Show. Okay, we're going to look at this engine. Which now, now, you just gave a presentation and you showed that the gas mileage for this engine is the same as the gas mileage without this echo boost? Exactly. It's, it's the same fuel economy. So, how does that work? Well, I mean, this is a, a turbocharger, right? Yeah, this is a turbocharger with direct injected fuel. And it's putting the two together that allows you to do more than either one independently. And the magic to that is... Well, let's, let's talk about this again. The, you, a turbocharger, which of course just compresses air and puts more in, right? Yeah, puts more air in. And right? that should bring put more fuel in, which should lower the, uh, the, the gas mileage, shouldn't it? Right, but the fuel economy is measured over a drive cycle and over certain speeds. Okay, so, so in other words, it's just not burning fuel like crazy. It's not burning fuel like crazy. Okay. So when you're, when you're following a, you know, a government fuel cycle or normal driving, and you know, for a certain speed, it doesn't use any more fuel than with, with the boosting than without the boosting. Hmm. And now, now explain it again, so it's a boost plus, you said there's direct plus injection? Plus direct injection. And uh, some of the magic that occurs is when you spray fuel directly into a cylinder and it vaporizes in the cylinder, as the cylinder goes down, it cools the cylinder. When you cool the cylinder, the turbocharger allows you to put more air in and you get a better burn of the fuel because you start with a cooler cylinder. And it's, it's that, it's the coupling of those two technologies that give you uh, that little extra boost. So for example, a naturally aspirated engine runs at about a 10.3 uh, to one compression ratio. Turbocharger, the best you can do is about nine. When you put direct injection with turbocharging, you're back to 10 to one um, compression ratio and you've uh, not suffered any penalty from just turbocharging alone, where you get excessive heats and, and you're pushing hot air in and you're trying to mix fuel with hot air. So how much more horsepower do you get with this? Uh, the base engine here has 249 horses and the, uh, the, the turbocharged direct injected version, the EcoBoost, is 350. So 101 more horsepower. Wow, with the with the base, but you still meet the government requirements for the fuel efficiency. In the you, you still do. You still do. Now, I'll tell you, if you are hot footing it and you're using all of those horsepower all the time, uh, all the time, you absolutely won't have the same fuel <laughs> I economy. Wouldn't think. No, no. But it, it's basically you've got power there when you want it without the penalty of lost uh, fuel all the time which is a hallmark of typically just upsizing displacement. Right. Anybody, any manufacturer, uh, just the physics of upsizing displacement. The displacement of this engine is identical to the one in the base Taurus. They're mm. both the 3.5 liter engine. And the architecture of the engine is the same. Now this one also has some upgraded components and pistons are oil cooled and there's some other ways we have to manage the, the heats and the loads with right. the Echo Boost. But, uh, it's this, the exact same displacement, the so, same architecture. And this technology is going to start going on out of the cars? Yes, uh, we've announced that 90% uh, of our lineup is going to have an available Echo Boost engine um, by 2012. So we are committed to this technology. And you can do one of thing, two things with this technology. If you look at the name Echo Boost, clearly in the show, we replaced the potential of putting a, v, a, a V8 engine in. But we took the existing engine and we said, we are going to boost this thing. It's ecological because we're not giving up any fuel while we're looking at the boost. You could choose to put an I-4 in a vehicle like this and replace the naturally aspirated V6. In that case, you get this great performing I-4, but you get the you get a great, just like a V6, but you get the fuel economy of an I-4. Right. You know, and so you're, tip, you're tipping the application to the uh, to the Echo. Either way, they're both uh, Echo Boost. Nice.